Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can ready your Google Play Store and your create an app and upload that app in Google Play Store. Yeah, we are probably going to be upload our Unreal Engine game. So first you need to fill up your details, then your category, what type of category it is. If you think that you want to publish as a free or paid, you can choose whether, whether which one you want. So in my case, I'm going to give it as a free. On declaration, you need to accept the US law and the Google Play Store policy, you know. And then uh, about set up in account this provide information about you know you need to uh, provide the policy so before creating any app you need to must give the privacy policy make sure it's come from a valid source so i'm going to use our asteroid and i already create privacy policy make sure you declare everything also make sure that the user can give you feedback otherwise google can reject your stuff so in my case i'm going to send it and i mean set it here so at the privacy policy you need to put at here that okay this is your privacy policy you know that's the stuff uh, and then uh, come back and then at the app name uh, sorry no app arrange and other a privacy policy you need to give it access like this is the app access functionality so if you think that your app doesn't get any special stuff kind of like a login or any other stuff you can give all functionalities available otherwise if you think that no brother there's a something that my app going to use so you need to give that and at the instruction you can put the instruction that okay what the user need to do and what google also need to do because they were going to test your game okay that's why or it can be a uh, verify by robots so they need to you know get the information okay how, how how he need to they need to do you know so at the save can come back and then you just choose that ad so what does it mean that suppose that if your game content any type of ad kind of like an ad mob or anything you can in choose that yes my game content ads otherwise if you think that no so just put it no in my case i need ads then the con uh then is uh obviously uh count uh, rating or content rating it's basically allow you that what type of game it is and how much you know they they give you a rating okay this country you a user or this age user can play your game so now you need to first choose the uh, the category and then you need to provide your email make sure it can be public and private which one you like then they ask you some silly question kind of like a evaluation no again doesn't count an evaluation stuff but yeah if your content kind of like that you can put yes because otherwise your game can be rejected then fear and you know the other stuff like love all stuff then they also give you like lots of stupid more question like doesn't make any sense because we are not going to do that but yeah it also makes sense because there's a lot of game available of this kind of like category that's why like and usually do any other stuff so yeah there's a lot of game available but yeah our game doesn't contain anything like that so no and glamping and other stuff yeah you know the google place allow that but you need to uh, give him say that okay yeah my go game content that okay otherwise we always put no 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 because we always agree Google laws, that's why, and yeah, uh, our game doesn't contain anything of that. But yeah, make sure if your game contain any of them, make sure you put yes, otherwise, you you know, after the app review, they will reject your game. So then click save and next, and then you'll see that for every country, some specific country they give, give you a rating for general, all age, everyone, you know, blah, blah, stuff, rating, which is help you to choose your, you know, game rating and other stuff. Okay, that's cool. Now come back and now. You need to choose the targeted audience to age. So now, in my case, I'm going to do 13 to 16 and the after 18. So everyone can basically play that. So next, and now at the app appearance Charles, now we need to give that no because our game doesn't contain any child stuff and other stuff. So we are going to put as no. Yeah. So most of cases we are just giving no, no, no. Okay. Once you're done. You can come back and now what you can do then basically it, there's a loss of more silly question kind of like your app as in it's kind of any type of a news app no guys why our game will be a news app guys this is a uh stuff like a bad stuff and etc you know so that is the main and then let's come back and then Oh, 
Okay, so in the COVID-19 app, our game doesn't go and COVID-19 status and anything, so we'll give no. And then for data safety and privacy, you need to just click on next, next, next. Okay, our game doesn't got any collection data, so that's why no, no, no. But you know, Google collecting our data, that is the main thing. You know, they're, so, they're always looking at our search and everything, but what the heck, okay. However, this is our, is our game is a government app. No, our game doesn't, it's a government app. I just hope that sometime, uh, the government fund us for creating the game it will be cool okay any financial stuff so no our game doesn't count any financial the financial mean basically if the user really get the rewarded from you as a real money at that point you need to give the financial feature otherwise you should give it no otherwise they will ask lots of document and blah blah stuff that we don't have because our game doesn't count anything like that then you need to then choose the app store listening stuff which is basically allow you to show how the you know the going to be work and also yeah before that we need to set the category so in my case i'm going to give a category okay it's a casual game so that's why i put it as a casual and then as a targeted you know it's kind of like a tag so it will help you to rank your game so make sure you put a valid then the store for contact so make sure this is going to be public so i'm going to use our asteroid url and for the email, I'm going to use the Astro public email. So make sure this is going to be public. So put always your public mail, not your developer console email. Okay, it's going to be more work and it is going to be more best. Okay, now as a phone number, it's not mandatory, so you can skip this part and then click on save. Now, voila, we have pretty much everything. Now we need to come back again. I don't know why Google Play Store design something like that. We can't press just next, next, next. We come need to uh, after fill up anything. We need to come back, come back. Okay, now you need to choose your app content, you know, the app name, app short description, app full description. I already created the presets because I always follow that, that's why. And then, you know, the previous video, we created the app icons for Google Play Store for App Store. So now that's what we are going to need at here. We are going to just basically just put them. We don't need to create. We need to just select and upload. So for first one, the 512 and second one is 1024 by 500. About the URL, it's not mandatory. If you want, you can give. But yeah, also make sure that you need to put your phone or the game, uh, you know, screenshot like how your game was, you know, etc stuff. So you can probably upload the eight image maximum. So let me just choose some um, image and, you know, just put it here. Okay, it will be look cool. And uh, there's a lots of variant for, you know, you can upload eight variant for the Android, for tablet and even for Chromebook, even for tablet and other stuff. So there's a lots of uh, format available. You can, if you want, you can give everything. So I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to do lots of fast way and going to fill up all of the shade stuff, you know, because there's a lots of thing. And yeah, make sure on the production section, uh, we have to add the countries. Now this is the most important part we need to give, allow that, okay, which country user can we play our game. Then once we choose that, we need to create a new release, okay? So TDS0 automatically fix your loss of problem, make sure, uh, you know, you need to keep it in mind. So now the choose thing, this is, um, you know, uh, technical stuff that you need to keep it in mind. If you already have some game already at that point, you can use that same store key but if you doesn't if your first time you can give choose to use upload your own key otherwise it's going to be filled make sure google can be generated there automatically don't press this green button that which i press but yeah luckily i already published lost of games so i have my old game uh, the release key so i'm going to just choose my old game release key so from here you can choose your any type of other game release key okay so i'm going to choose my this uh, game uh, release keys because that my all game release keys are same so then click on save now it will give you to upload the uh, permission now you need to just upload your abb make sure with the same key with the same key allies name and password and key store you generate this app or you sign this game okay otherwise it's going to be failed now we need to just upload our abb file make sure we don't need to upload any other file just go to your music that what we in our previous video we exported okay so just choose and you find something like that oh yeah one more thing uh, you will be see that there's the obb file is separate from the abb so don't need to worry because the obb is under the abb uh, abb file so you don't need to worry so once it's uh, upload done it will be show you something like the, the targeted then api level and other stuff as well now also you find the arm 64 now click on next and you'll be probably find something like this 
okay so now there's an error for uh, 13 so it's not a super you know very big error you know just complete some declaration and it's going to be fixed make sure if you disable tds hero it will go give you more 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 error but if because we are using tds hero plugin that's why it's there's a less error and you need to just click off that account management and marketing yeah our game using something like for the ad move so that's why now you need to come back and here you can see most of cases are done the last thing you can press as a ignore update declaration and it going to be fixed so it's a not very big issue it's just a warning warning is doesn't affect too much because you know we are developer for a warning for us it's not too much anything otherwise it's come a big error okay so you can see it's give us a time that timeline for 500 and ppm be released delayed and other stuff how much it time take so now click on save and once you save you can go to the review section and there you find the same two for review so now what will be google do the google will be read all of your how you fill up the form and they will be matched with yeah, your apk if they think that everything is voila you know you'll be see that your game is coming in a voila section like yeah on google play store so everyone can now download okay so i hope you understand see you in the next video